Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about bananas and I've got some tips and ideas for you for when you're using bananas. Hopefully this will help you out. Why not make your own frozen banana pops? It's really not hard. Peel a banana, slice it in half crosswise, and then insert a popsicle stick into each half. Lay them down on a tray of some sort. It would be helpful to line it with parchment paper. Put them in the freezer and allow them to freeze. You can eat them just like that, or you could embellish them. Once they're frozen, take them out and dip them in an ice cream topping of your choice, like a caramel sauce or a fudge sauce, something like that. Then you could freeze them again like that. Or if you want to embellish them even further, once you dip them in your sauce, you could sprinkle them with some candy sprinkles or some chopped nuts or some chopped coconut, something like that, and it would be really good. Put them back in the freezer, allow all that to freeze solid, and then you've got some delicious banana pops. If you have any left over, then you can just wrap them up tightly and keep them in the freezer until you're ready to eat them. Believe it or not, you can use the inside of a banana peel to shine up leather shoes. Just peel that banana, enjoy your banana, then take the peel on the inside and rub it over your leather shoes. And then buff it clean and dry with a clean, soft cloth, and you'll have some very shiny leather that way. If you want to attract some butterflies, birds, and other pollinators in your yard, put a perch out there with some uh, banana peels and some overripe bananas and maybe some other fruit out there as well. Mangoes, oranges, something like that would be good. And it will attract bees and butterflies and birds and all sorts of creatures out there that you can enjoy looking at. Make sure you put them away from the home and the doorway as well, and especially even where children might play because if there's bees there, you don't want to uh, have the children nearby. The inside of a banana peel can also be used to soothe insect bites or sunburns, minor scrapes, or even poison ivy. Just take the inside of it and gently rub it on that area and you can even just place it on there like a cool compress and it will help to soothe that irritated skin. To speed up bananas ripening, you can put them in a paper bag and just seal it up and put it on your countertop away from sunlight for sure or away from a heat source also. If you want to speed it up further, you can put an avocado in there or an apple in the bag along with bananas and they will release some ethylene gas and it will be trapped in there with the paper bag being closed and the bananas will ripen up a lot faster that way. When you're making banana bread, use the ripest bananas that you possibly can. Not rotten ones for sure, but very ripe. The blacker the peel, the better in that respect. You'll get a sweeter, better banana flavor in your bread than if you were to use a greenish type of banana. If you want to slow down banana ripening, put them in the refrigerator and that will halt the ripening process. However, the peel will turn black as it's in the refrigerator. So it's not going to look very pretty after being in there for a few days, but the banana flesh itself will maintain the degree of ripeness that it had when you first put it in there. You can use bananas to replace fat in a baked goods recipe like muffins or a quick bread. The ratio would be one to one. One part oil is replaced with one part of mashed ripe banana. And so you can do that interchangeably that way. Bear in mind when you do use bananas as a fat replacer, it will affect how the baked good bakes. So it may actually bake up faster than it would have with the oil in there. So you do need to watch it closely and you might need to remove it from the oven a little bit sooner. Do test it with a cake tester or a toothpick test, something like that to be sure it is completely done. 
and so you may have to take it out just a little bit early. To avoid having to do that, you could also lower the temperature uh, according to your recipe by about 25 degrees Fahrenheit and then it will take a little bit longer to bake and it may work out just about right where it, it bakes at about the appropriate time that the recipe calls for. Why not try an all-time favorite of banana and peanut butter sandwich? Just spread some peanut butter on a slice of bread, slice some bananas on there, and then if you want to sweeten it up, you can drizzle a little bit of honey on top of that, which is really optional. Cover it up with another slice of bread, and you have a delicious sandwich that way. Why not add some sliced banana, walnuts, and a drizzle of maple syrup to your breakfast oatmeal? That sounds delicious. If you want to slow banana ripening, one way to do that is when you get your bananas home, get a piece of plastic wrap. We'll pretend that this is a bunch of bananas, not just the one. Get a piece of plastic wrap and tightly wrap the top of the stem, just the whole stem of it. And that will help to slow down and minimize the release of the ethylene gas that's on there because the stem is where the bananas release that gas and that gas promotes the ripening of the bananas. So nothing is going to make bananas last forever, but if you want to slow down the ripening process, that will help. For a really quick and easy dessert, make banana ice cream. All you need to do is freeze some bananas. One at a time is enough for one serving or even two servings, depending upon how you mix it up. And then just the easiest thing to do is just take a peeled frozen banana and blend it up until it's smooth and creamy and it's delicious just like that. But you could certainly embellish it in a lot of ways. You could add a little bit of coconut milk or oat milk in there to help to liquefy it and make it a little bit smoother. You could add some cinnamon, you could add some chocolate, you could add some um, frozen fruit of other sorts. Berries are delicious in there, mangoes, you could, strawberries, all sorts of things can be added. Even some instant coffee or some brewed coffee in there to give it a coffee flavor. It's only limited to your imagination, so try some banana and ice cream sometime. It's really good. Now, have you ever noticed when you go to add sliced bananas to a fruit salad, the bananas will tend to turn dark on you, uh, especially if you have to make this in a little bit in advance before you're going to eat it. One way to stop that from happening is to first slice your bananas up and then toss them with a little bit of an acidic juice like lemon juice, if that goes well with your fruit salad, or orange juice, or some other type of fruit juice of your choice. It could be any fruit juice, but a citrus one, a citrus juice actually works really very, very well. And it will help to keep those bananas from turning dark as you prepare the rest of your fruit salad and have it on the table ready to eat for dessert. If the fruit juice will not blend well, you could also mix it with a little bit of milk of your choice. Just a little bit. Coconut milk coated on top of that banana works really well. Oat milk works really well, but truthfully, any milk of your choice would also work in addition or instead of a fruit juice. Well, I do hope this helps you out. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.